whose mission is to change education and educate for change and to create citizens who question and engage and are passionate. I felt we could reflect that in a physical structure. People feel a sense of comfort here because of the amount of light, because of the way no matter where you are in the building, you're connected with the outside and it's beautiful uh, because of the quality of the materials and the mixture of the, the stone and the wood and uh, it, it's just all done exquisitely. It's living in the sense that it is connected to the outside. It's always trying to harvest sunlight and water um, for the use of the people inside. It's always providing nutrient-rich water back to the engineered wetlands outside. So it is connected to the living systems. It thrives only because of them. Before it was even open, a group of professors decided to bring their first year tutorials over and experiment with the systems. These are freshmen who arrive here and build bench scale models of the waste treatment systems and then build mathematical models that demonstrated how those systems work. By the time they'd finished, they'd done work that nobody had ever done before. This is a a living laboratory. Social justice is one of the areas in which you have to demonstrate that you've pushed the boundary of what buildings can do. We heard story after story about second and third generation people in the construction industry who had seen parents die young because of things they were exposed to. The wood in this building is finished with material made from waste, from whey products from the Cabot Creamery. I thought that was cool. They thought it was profound. Hearing them talk about how much they want to assure that their kids can be in this industry and not be poisoned was just really powerful for me. Visitors have ranged from other universities to General Electric to nonprofit environmental groups. And it always involves this process of coming and saying, wow, it's amazing, and then learning it's possible. You can build a building that absolutely challenges all of the assumptions about what a building has to be and enhances rather than detracts from the quality of people's lives. Why wouldn't you do that?